What's up everybody, Nobori here. Today we're going to be going in on a new building guide for Murak and we're going to call this one Nukem. Yes, it's about to get crazy. We got a Scout Ward, Harvester Key, two Cast Tokens, two Health Potions, Madstone Gem we have two, Micro Nuke we have four, Hunger Maul, and a Rift Maga Scepter. First off, we're going to start off with two cast tokens. You can either do a health potion or a scout's ward if you want. We're going to start off with a scout's ward so we can ward off the jungle so we don't get jumped while we're in the lane on right side. Now, this match has been actually an hour long, so we're going to cut it up in a little bit here. We're going to start off with a static trap. Now, since this is a build and guide video, I'll be skipping through most of the farming just so you guys can get to the good stuff, but I will be posting a full gameplay video of this build so you guys can check that out in action real time with me in the face cam i know you guys are waiting on it but let's get right in here we actually got through a couple minutes here without having to do anything and we pretty much farmed the crap out of it so let's get right into it and see what we can do for our first upgrades after you've farmed up six points or less you can get your madstone gem we're going to put three minor casts in this this will leave us with 45.5 damage and 124.2 attack speed we're going to get rid of our ward here and we're going to pick up another madstone gem this will leave us with 53 damage and 130.7 attack speed yeah you guessed it nothing but farming so let's get our madstone gem leveled up here we're going to put two major casts in it and a minor cast this will leave us with 106.1 damage and 148.2 for attack speed then since we don't have a ward on that side we're actually going to get a health potion and a harvester key finally guys finally there's going to be some action middle lanes being over pushed by the enemy team murdoch we're going to drop our trap here just in case he backs up into it we're doing 143 damage we're going to hit him with a shotgun now he's going to take 159 damage because that has some energy penetration for a short period of time hit him one more time for 143 damage and we clear out middle lane here that was an awesome first kill let's go now we're going to make it back to base and get our next upgrade get rid of our harvester key and get our hunger mall in this we're going to put a drain and two lesser drains in this this would leave us with 20 life steal and 50 percent extra crit damage oh yeah let's get some ultimate action going on here line it up and lead the target and drop it like it's hot give me that second kill we're gonna do some solid snake action here on the enemy team to bless you're gonna get behind him yet again and drop our trap we're gonna shoot him a couple times and push him with our shield into our trap to slow him down even more as he jumps back with his rocket dash we're gonna shoot him with a shotgun hit him one more time and he is definitely out of here now we're really gonna be cooking we're going to get rid of one of our cast tokens here, and we're going to get a Rift Maga Scepter. In this, we're going to put two wounds and a minor wound. To get the minor wound, we're going to get rid of one of our cast tokens here, and as you can see now, we lost no damage. We're still at 106.1, but we have 21% crit chance. This is going to be huge. Well, guess what? Nothing exciting happened, so let's get right back to town. We have three points to spend, so we're going to get a micro nuke. This will leave us with 121.2 energy damage and 24% crit chance. Feels like deja vu, dude. We are back at base again here in our micro nuke. We're going to put a cast and a minor cast. This will get us to 143.9 energy damage. Well, now we got some action. We see that the enemy team has low health here, and our teammates are going in. The enemy team, Kalari, is going to jump up here. As she drops down, we're going to hit her one shot for 182 damage. Take her out. Hit the enemy team, Murdoch, for 182, and our teammate takes out the enemy team, Murdoch. Shortly after, we're going to push right lane with our teammates here. We're going to push this tower till it blows up, and then our Twin Blast is actually going to do some nice damage on the enemy team, Chimera. I'm going to finish him off with my ultimate, and we got another kill. We are five kills, one death, two assists. Let's make our way back to base. Finishing the upgrade on our micro nuke here, we're going to put a major cast in this. We're going to get rid of our health potion now. Now we're going to get another micro nuke and we're going to put a major cast in this. And to finish out this card, we're going to get rid of one of our madstone gems. We're going to get rid of one that has five points into it. Get rid of this card and now we can put two more major casts in our micro nuke. This will leave us with 234.8 energy damage and 27% crit chance. Our attack speed has been reduced a little bit, but our damage has gone up substantially so that's not a big deal middle lane got pushed out here and the tower got destroyed but we're going to jump right in here drop one of our traps down slow them down hopefully but we missed that we're going to back up our teammate twin blast joins in the fray here and he helps us out as i get poked on by these minions here we're going to use my ultimate to take out the enemy team chimera as he drops down into the jungle and we got a nice kill we're going to go right back down here and help out our teammates with the enemy team murdoch we're going to hit him for a huge 534 damage what a hit 
with those six points we have obtained, we're going to get another micro nuke. In this, we're going to put a major cast. This will leave us with 272.7 energy damage and 30% crit chance. Now it's time for some team fight action. The enemy team Severog drops down here and hits the ultimate on our teammate, but we're going to keep following as our teammate Rampage jumps in with his ultimate. Our team Sparrow is eventually going to kill the enemy team Severog. We're going to push back the enemy team Chimera so we get him away from us while he's using his Q skill. As he backs up, we destroy the tower and we're going to keep pushing. Twin Blast is going to re-engage on us again. I'm going to keep shooting at him for 301 non-crit. Use my ultimate and I was hoping I was going to catch both of them with that. But we managed to kill the enemy team Twin Blast and the Chimera right there. We're going to go right back in here and let's see if we can take out this Murdoch. Ooh, touch that. 602 damage. Let's go. Good night. <laughs> I'm a madman. Now we can finish up our third micro nuke here. We're going to put two more major casts in this, leaving us 325.8 energy damage and still 30% crit chance. We're going to get rid of our Madstone gem, our last one, and get another micro nuke here. We're going to put three major casts in that for 356.1 energy damage and 33% crit chance. The enemy team is now trying to get OP buff, but I get engaged by the enemy team Chimera. He's going to use his ultimate on me, but I'm going to have enough health to back up, drop a trap, hit him with my move along, and he's going to get killed by my trap that I left behind him. Severogs didn't try to get in here on us, and I'm going to hit him for 441 damage and hit him off with one last shot. The enemy team gets away, but that's okay. They did not get the hand in prime buff. Now let's check out one of my deaths. I know this is good to learn from, but we're going to push this inhibitor here on right side. Chimera jumps in on me. I'm going to use my move along yet again to push him back. I'm going to get engaged and ulted by the enemy team Murdoch. I'm going to shoot a couple times at the enemy team Twin Blast, jump around so he doesn't hit me, hit him with 421 damage to kill him there. We're going to keep backing up. Unfortunately, I got stunned by the enemy team Severog. If that did not happen, I would have killed them both. Next, I see the enemy Kalari in our jungle side, so I'm going to keep hitting at her. I'm going to drop a trap, hoping that I'll catch her in that. I did not. The enemy team Severog scares the shit out of me. I'm going to use my move along, push him back, hit him for 441 damage. Kalari shows back up. I hit her for 741 damage. Use my shotgun and take her out. Severog, you're not going anywhere. Hit him one last time for 224 damage, and he's gone. Let's go. We're going to have another nice ultimate kill here. Chimera's going to jump away at our teammate Iggy. I'm going to use my ultimate and take him out. Let's go. Let's keep moving on with these kills. We're going to keep pushing this inhibitor. I'm going to hit Murdoch for 751 damage on crit. He can't handle it. He's going to take one more and he's gone. Rampage and myself are going to keep pushing the inhibitor as we push the enemy team Twin Blast. Our Twin Blast joins in and gets the last hit on the enemy team Twin Blast. The enemy team Chimera did not learn his lesson. He's going to jump in with his ambush. He's going to keep hitting me with his Q. He's going to use his ultimate. Can't kill me. I hit him for one more time and I take him out. By the way, when Kalari killed me right there, I literally jumped out of my chair and I thought I shit myself. This has to be my favorite kill of the match. I sneak up on Severog with my shotgun. He uses his ultimate as the enemy team Kalari uses hers. He hits me back into the jungle. I'm going to drop my trap right here as she steps on that. Do some damage to her. Hit her one last time with 751 damage and she is gone. I have no clue where Severog went. I go on my merry way here and I notice that he's coming up behind me. Hit him once. Hit him twice. Hit him with my move along for 223 damage. That was crazy. This is going to be the last kill of the match but stick around. I have an alternate option for you guys that want attack speed in this build and I will show you that next. I'll show you a snippet from one of the matches I played after this with the alternate option so you guys can check it out too. I have to share this with you guys again. Check this out. This is from the match after the building guy video. This is crazy. The enemy team snuck behind our enemy lines and got back through to our base attacking our core. But I managed to turn around real quick and ultimate him off of it. And we managed to get the win on that. But let's get right in here and explain what the alternate option is for this build. Now, if you want a little bit more attack speed in your build, here's the second option. Once you get your second Madstone gem finished, get rid of your Harvester Key and your Health Potion if you have it, and get a Red-Eyed Nitro. In it, you're going to put two major kinetics and one minor kinetic. This will give you 58 attack speed, but at a sacrifice for damage. You'll hit around 705 damage on crit on a non-armored target. Now let's check out the differences in between the two. Either you switch out your Red Eye Nitro for another Micro Nuke or vice versa depending on your playstyle and what you want. If you want more attack speed, go with the Red Eye Nitro. If you want more damage, go with the Micro Nuke. 
if you go for the straight damage build, you're going to be hitting for 836 damage on a non-armored target, with the attack speed about 705 damage. Let me know what you guys think that your preference would be if you guys use these builds, and if you do, be sure to let me know how they work out for you in the comments below. If you want the build in full detail, be sure to check the description below. I will put both builds in there and what builds they are. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and drop a like if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Paragon content. With that being said, I hope the CXP is always in your favor. But until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace!